When working with SPVR, the most important thing you need to remember about your files or is the size and the type. SPVR works with RGB TIFF images. That's all it'll work with. So if you save it as a CMYK TIFF, it won't op it won't open up and separate. So that may be a problem um, to look for if something happens. Now, it doesn't realize whether you're using a painting that's been painted in the computer, you're using a scanned in photograph, a digital photograph. The software doesn't know what it's dealing with. All it knows is if it's an RGB TIFF, it can read it. Um, th when it comes to the file size, this one's at actual size 15 inches tall by 150 dpi. That's sufficient. That's what most of our work is because I usually don't do artwork with text in it. If I have any text involved with the artwork, typically if it's a flat um, clean edge situation, I'll add that later on in my illustration programs. Uh, if you happen to be ha have a design with text or type or something like that in it and you want clean edges on your text, the best thing to do would be to increase this resolution. Always work at the actual size, but change the resolution to between 200 and 300 dpi. It'll take a little bit longer for your files to separate, but you'll find that the edges of those text areas will get a little bit cleaner.